If you run into a parallelogram question on test day, they're probably going to be asking you the area. Now, one of the ways that people try to do this, let's I just drew one up here and made up some dimensions eight and three, is they will find the area of these two rectangles, and sometimes they'll let you do that. They'll give you the stuff you need, um, particularly because these tend to be on coordinate axes, right? They tend to be on a coordinate axis, so you're able to use the points and figure out these triangle dimensions, and that's great. And you can you can definitely do it that way. You can definitely find the area of this rectangle and the area of these triangles and add them together. But you don't have to do all that. A parallelogram is just kind of like a rectangle that's been mm, tilted, right? It's like, mm, okay. And if I were to take this triangle here, right, and I were to transplant it, To the other side. Well, that would leave me a clean break on this side for a rectangle, right? I would just have this clean cutoff point right here for a rectangle. And over here, all of a sudden, I would have something that looks like this. I also have a rectangle. And look, my base hasn't changed, right? This bit that went over here is still is still here didn't add anything to the top, that dimension didn't change, the height didn't change. So really, to be honest with you, the easiest way to find the uh, area of a par parallelogram is base times height or length times width. Now, one of the reasons people say base times height, and some, some of you have learned rectangles that way, which I think is probably a good thing, um, is because height is special. Height is different. Height is not slanted. Height is at attention. Height is up and down. Height is perpendicular to the base. It's the flagpole height, right? It's the flagpole height. It's never the slanted sides height for any shape to find the area. You never use the slanted sides. Triangles, trapezoids, parallelograms, never use the slanted sides. So typically, if you know how long it is, you know how tall it is, you don't have to do anything else. Let it be that easy. Let's go ahead and jump into our full screen ACT example. You'll kind of get a better idea. Okay, this is a pretty standard parabola question, except it's not a parabola question. Let's try that again. This is a pretty standard parallelogram question. We're given a parallelogram on a standard coordinate plane and they're asking for the area. So the easy way to do it is to find the base. So we go from negative one to two. So the base will have a length of 2 minus negative 1, or 3. And then the height will be, we go from 1 to 0, so the height will be 1. So we have a base of 3, height of 1. Remember, we're always interested in the up and down height. Up and down height. So our area is equal to base times height, which will be area is equal to three times one, area is three. Letter B is correct, that's all there is to it. Now, we can kind of step back here and look at how you may want to do this with triangles. Again, I really encourage you to remember the little um, base times height trick. But if you didn't for some reason, because these are usually given on the coordinate plane, you have this option, right? You could say, well, look, this is going to be a triangle with a base of one and a height of one. This is going to be a triangle with a, another base of one, height of one. Then this rectangle that I have left after I've cut off this end will have a length of two, height of one. So you'd have a uh, rectangle area would be uh, base times height or length times width. So that'd be two times one equals two. Triangle, the, the triangles will be identical in a parallelogram. One half base times height one half one times one sorry for the sloppiness but each triangle would have an area of one half so you'd have two plus one half plus one half and that would get you three you could also of course also think about this as two two rectangles you'd have this two times one rectangle in the middle here then you'd have a smaller rectangle if you move this over here but one by one but what's the easiest way to do it base times height Perpendicular height, perpendicular to the base, up and down height, 
It's the quickest way to do these problems every single time.